Overseas tonight and some dramatic images coming in. Tourists injured and burned as Europe's tallest active volcano roars back to life, sending a camera crew running for their lives. Superheated steam from the mix of lava and snow, sending burning rocks flying right at the crew. Here's our chief foreign correspondent, Terry Moran, tonight. These images, Instagrammed by a tourist just minutes before the eruption, show a brilliant morning. Then... Molten rock and boulders shooting hundreds of feet into the air. The BBC News crew dropping their camera to the ground. People fleeing as the superheated debris rains down and a dense cloud of steam engulfs the slope. Have you seen the others? All scramble for the safety of the mountain vehicle, a window there shattered by the flying rocks. Ten people injured, three hospitalized, but all were badly shaken. Tonight, we spoke with the BBC's Rebecca Morrell. Everyone started to run, and all the while we were being pelted with all of this material, but we couldn't see anything to you because it was a whiteout. So there was a moment when you thought you were going to die? Yeah, there was a huge explosion. You do think, well, that might be it. The explosion was triggered when the flowing magma at 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit hit the thick snow, creating high-pressure pockets of steam. Mount Etna is one of the world's most active volcanoes. Thousands of tourists visit every year, and the BBC was there to do a story on volcano monitoring. It's clear there's a lot left to learn that way. David? Glad they're all going to be okay. Terry Moran with us tonight. Thank you, Terry. Back here at home, a new winter storm now brewing tonight as millions still dig out from that powerful and deadly nor'easter. The east is already locked in a deep freeze. In Rhinebeck, New York, look at this. The first train into the station. Wow, kicking up that powerful wave of snow as passengers were standing there waiting on the platform. <laughs> Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z. We heard some laughter in that video, but not everyone was laughing as that snow hit them. And now a new storm, Ginger. That's right. We've got more snow on the right way, David. As uncomfortable as this deep freeze might be for so many of us after such a mild February, the agriculture, the farmers are really concerned in parts of the southeast. I'm going to show you here that deep freeze for one more morning will be a hard freeze in some spots. That's why we've got some of those warnings still out. The actual numbers going into your Friday morning look like this. 30 in Columbia, 35 Atlanta, 26 Charlotte, and the wind chill, especially in the northeast, could be below 20 in a lot of spots. Now that new storm we were mentioning along the warm front, Chicago gets into the rain and the mix early on Friday, then it becomes all rain. South of the warm front, it'll stay rain, but right here in the northeast, places that got hit hard could see another one to four inches by Saturday afternoon. David. All right. Clearly golden hour there along the West Side Highway. Ginger, thank you. There